Hey everyone, welcome to part two of the offset path cut tutorial, cut line tutorial. I think you're all going to love this. Um, okay, part one, we talked about how do you create an offset path using an existing vector graphic. So using Pathfinder and offset paths, it's pretty simple, pretty and pretty helpful, pretty useful. Okay, a lot of times you're getting a an image off the internet, a graphic, or customer supplies you something, and they're either not paying you to vectorize it, they don't have uh, the budget to, to vectorize it, but they don't need it vectorized because it's going to be so small um, that the resolution is okay. Um, basically what this is on the right side, this is a raster version, so if we zoom in, Real close, you can see the pixels. But if this was just a graphic going on a pop socket, or it might actually be okay resolution to use. Uh, I wouldn't recommend to use it, but again, depending on budget and that sort of thing. All right, here we go. This is how easy it is. So like I do every time, I make a duplicate, and I'm just going to copy it over and next and by the way I copy that over using option drag or copy paste or whatever works best for you uh, next thing you're going to do is go to your properties palette and if you've got your selection arrow selected you go to image trace under image trace you can go to black and white logo oh that didn't work actually let's go to Let's try something else. Let's go to, uh, you know what? Let's stay in black and white logo. I'm going to show you guys a little trick here. Okay, so what happens is we lost some of the colors. Uh, so I'm going to adjust the threshold. Let's see if that brings anything back. Ooh, that does. That does. So you can see how that actually outlines the original. So, uh, Whatever mode you're in, I recommend just simple black and white, adjusting your threshold to get the best outline you can. Um, remember, if it is raster, you will get these lines that might not be as sharp as the original, but you can also fiddle with this. By the way, this little box is, options box is located in here. Okay. Uh, so accessing this is great. And I make a habit of clicking this. I mean, there's other functions we'll talk about later, but let's click ignore white. That just simplifies your path. And we can minimize that and expand. So now what you've done is you've converted your pixelated object, your graphic, into a vector graphic. So the same rules apply for creating an offset path. I'll go through this pretty quick. Um, if you double click your shape, watch this. Double click again, it takes you to isolation mode. Okay, here's a little trick you can do. Once you've isolated that outside shape, what I do is I go to edit, copy, exit isolation mode, double click anywhere outside of your graphic and paste. So once you paste that in, you can actually delete these, this. Okay, so this cut line is actually, it's not perfect, but it's pretty close. So we're not done. What we have to do is go to object, path, offset path. And we're gonna use the same Offset measurements we used in part one. Let's okay that. Preview if you want. All right, that looks good. Uh, and like before, this creates a duplicate. So we're going to get rid of the inside shape. Now, if we colorize this, oops, bat. Sorry, guys. Drag that over, and we're just going to center that. That creates a really nice cut line. And last step, of course, is to uh, 
that. Where am I going here? Here we go. Remember to colorize it the cut contour special spot watch. Okay. Um, one more little helpful tip. I almost forgot. Don't forget to select your raster artwork, vector artwork, whatever it is, especially if it comes off the internet. You want to go object, flatten transparency. Super important. Okay? I think these default settings are all good. Okay. And we're going to put this back in place. And we're good to go. So now the last thing you do is do a save as. And part three, we're going to show you how to do a power duplicate. So hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to save this as an EPS. And um, share this video with a friend. Hit the like button, subscribe, and all that jazz. All right. Have a great day, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.